But let's shift focus now on the commodity markets. Peter Maguire, the CEO at Exim Australia, is joining in to talk about oil prices and all things commodities. Peter, thanks a lot for joining in. You know, this morning oil prices are moving, inching a bit higher because of the uh, China economic support pledge and tighter supply across the globe as well, but still a little below the $80 per barrel mark. Do you think this could be the pivot, $80 a barrel on Brent for a while, or do you see the range shift a bit? Well, good morning, Sonia. A couple of things. I think it's had a nice rally to the upside. Also, take into mind where the US dollars traded over the last week or so, and I wouldn't be surprised to see another leg up from here. So we're seeing a little bit of resistance around that 80 to 81 bucks, but I think uh, there'll be further momentum to the upside, and uh, I keep a close eye on US dollar, and uh, let's see what happens as far as geopolitically uh, what's happening across the globe at the moment. So, yeah, I think it's going to be some interesting times ahead for crude oil. Upside risk, uh, Peter. Hope you had a good day out there, you know, in Australia. Uh, you could tell us, but what could that upside be? You see, go back towards $90? Well, might just well do, Nigel. I'm not suggesting you're going to be there soon, but I, over this uh, summer period in the Northern Hemisphere, I wouldn't be surprised to take a 90 handle out. I think that there's overall... Um, the overall consensus is across the market and many analysts are saying that it's very achievable over the over the next couple of months. So uh, I'm sitting here, I'm looking at it. It's hard to forecast, but I think there's more bullishness than bearishness at the moment. Mm, OK, so in terms of a range, what are we looking at, say, for the next uh, say 12 months on crude? What do you estimate the floor and the ceiling could be now? Well, I think, you know, Sonia, that's a big that's a big range as far as 12 months. So let's say a 70 is a low side, and I think it's probably got the potential to be a $90 plus on the high side. So that for 12 months is an enormous window as far as time because we're coming into an election year next year. You're coming into uh, OPEC and their thoughts, Saudi production, Russia. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, components to this big thing that we call crude oil. All right. Uh, well, since we have you with us, Peter, you're clearly sounding quite bullish on crude. But what about the other metals? What's the preference out there between ferrous and non-ferrous? How do you see pricing shape up and any particular commodity that you're bullish on? Well, I had a look at copper. I'm keeping an eye on that and naturally some of the you know, base metals. Uh, I, I just think that it's come back a little bit. We've given up some of that hot air from 8,800 back to about 8,700. So oh, 8,400, I should say. So some of that's come off. A couple of the other metals are interesting to note. I'm keeping a close eye, naturally, as an Australian on on uh, iron ore. And mm. one that I need to look at certainly is gold and silver because they've had a strong push to the upside. You've got gold sitting there at 1980 an ounce and you've got silver over $25 an ounce. So, yeah, they've had a nice push up and maybe there's further expansion on both of those in the short term. So copper and precious metals, both of them could, uh, you know, is something that you're a little bit more optimistic on. But Peter, what are you building in with regard to China? Everyone's talking about a stimulus. Do you think a stimulus is coming? And uh, if you have any kind of quantum that we should be looking at? Well, I can't put a number on it, but I th certainly think, Nigel, that there will be stimulus and I think it'll be quite aggressive. So it'll, it'll help their market, it'll help the internal demand, it'll help the overall picture across mm. China. So there's the first part of it. The second part is you probably see more consumption. You need to see stronger consumption externally, you know, across the world to buy those finished goods. But there could be a very big push to the upside as far as internal demand. And uh, we all understand, you know, it's a huge growth engine. So it's demand for it'll be insatiable for commodities. And I think that's probably a good sign for miners and anyone that provides uh, anything to China. Okay, China stimulus perhaps coming. Uh, thanks a lot, Peter, for joining in and uh, giving us updates on the commodity markets. But let's.